All right, high surf in Southern California this morning. Gorgeous sunrise as I'm getting ready to walk down. Actually, I'm almost there to do the morning briefing. And man, the surfers are here. They're here to enjoy it. It's a gorgeous morning. Let's get into the morning briefing. <laughs> Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. There is a high surf advisory throughout SoCal for some pretty big surf. You can see the surfers are enjoying it back behind me. We may get some damage to piers, and for sure, you want to be very careful about fishing on rocks or jetties today. In fact, I highly recommend you don't do it. Every single year when we have these kinds of conditions, someone will get washed out to sea and that will be the end of their life. So please be very, very careful. There are strong riptides and currents in situations like this. Man, we've got so much to talk about with you all. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Here we are rolling up on the New Year's now, and we've got yellowfin tuna biting, bluefin tuna biting, good yellowtail action, and so much more. I'm keeping my ears open on that surf because it's moving up on me. I almost got doused shooting from another location, almost lost everything just a moment ago. So I'm kind of listening to that great stuff going on on rockfish. There's still a little bit of time for you to get out and catch some rockfish. And of course, we're going to talk about some local bass, some yo-yo iron yellowtail on the Royal Polaris. There is so much going on. And also, don't forget to go back and watch the podcast I did with my dear friend Don Brockman yesterday. Don, he was a great guest and he shared so many insights with us all. I think I need a sip of this. Ah. Uh, showed so many fun stories and went back in his memory hole and also talked about some great striper fishing going on right now at Lake Havasu. Hey, you know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, one more cup of that coffee. Surfers walking by me. Everybody's excited about this big surf and they're taking advantage of it. And it is great to be with y'all. If you don't mind, please hit that like button. It means so much to us all. Share these videos with a friend. That means a lot to us all. So subscribe to the Free Mini Adventures channel right here on YouTube. It's free. Just subscribe. And if you tick the bell, you'll be notified when there's new content. You can also follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and, of course, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Man, really fun stuff, exciting times. There's people, like, just watching down here today. I mean, there's a big crowd on the beach. Everybody coming down to check out this giant surf and at any point in time i'm ready to hightail it out of here just in case i'll leave the guys behind you entertain you i'll remind you there's a link in the show description today if you'd like to make a contribution to our efforts to send more goods down to mexico we would deeply appreciate it you just go in the show description and click on the gofundme link and you can leave a donation of any amount. It would be deeply appreciated. All right, let's go down to Mexico. Let's talk a little bit about Cabo San Lucas. Still good striped marlin fishing going on there. We like the yellowfin tuna bite down there. Occasional dorado and also every once in a while a skin, a wahoo, down there in that neck of the woods up in San Quentin area, 140 miles below the border. We continue to see some pretty good fishing on uh, occasional yellowtail down that way. And rockfish are biting really, really well. But there seems to be a lot of yellowtail up and down the beach right now. So hopefully we're going to see more and more of that as we go along. Some pretty good yellow action there. We see that some years around Todos Santos Island, which is right off Ensenada, which is 70 miles below the border. Down there right now, mostly big bonita and lots of rockfish. Our friend Ernie Prieto with It's For Real Sport Fishing has been having an absolute ball in Ensenada, catching all kinds of bottom grabbers and so much more. He's a great guy. It's for reels sport fishing in beautiful Ensenada. You can take advantage of that and have some fun with him. And, of course, blackfin sport fishing loading up on the bottom. So but also giving you the um, thrill of catching those bigger bonita, which are really good eating, especially sashimi. They're really good that way. So good fishing south of the border. We have this big swell in here today. I know you're enjoying that back there, man. It looks like so much fun. And we're going to get hit with another big one on Saturday. So it's going to even get crazier here in SoCal. And then we're going to get some rain in here. I think 
Saturday morning it starts in most of Southern California. So we do have some weather out there on the horizon. The Independence with 14 bluefin tuna yesterday. We told you the five-day boats would be out scouring and looking around for BFT and other species, and they found them, 14 on the bluefin tuna. It doesn't sound like they were huge fish, but they're bluefin. It's December. It's the end of 23, and we're rolling into 24 with more fish. And they also had a sundown bite on the yellowfin tuna. Can you believe that YFT? On a five-day trip out of San Diego on board the Independence, they're looking for more of that yellowfin tuna here today. They saw some pretty good evidence of it, and they think they can put together another score on that fish here today. Don't forget April 4th through the 9th. Man, this fish ought to be crazy by then. We have a five-day trip on board the luxurious long-range Independence out of Point Loma sport fishing in San Diego. Man, I'm telling you, it should be crazy. should be really, really exciting on that trip. There's the phone number. You can go to the website and book right now. I'd love to see you on that one. And yes, I will be there. I know there's a downside to every single trip. I will be there to make sure you have a good time. And also, of course, to shoot a video of the trip. Lots of surfers going by me here. Everybody's excited in Surfside. People jogging on the beach. It's really kind of a fun time. The Royal Polaris with a very brisk action day yesterday on the first of their five-day trip catching quite a bit of you yo-yo iron yellowtail. Nice fish, as you can see. They also had good bass fishing, good white fishing. Not bad at all. Looks like, from what I can ascertain, that we have the best of both worlds going on here. You can catch that bass and white fish and get the yellows on the iron, or you can focus on the tuna. And today will be a very interesting day to see if more of that tuna is indeed caught. There are guys who are do or die on the tuna, the bluefin, and now the yellowfin tuna. So we'll see where that all leads us and how that all plays out. Really interesting and great stuff. There remains a lot of squid all up and down the coast. We're seeing squid at the islands, in the coastal regions, on the banks. And of course, that squid is so important to the food chain. And it's, I think, a big reason why we're seeing such great fishing here so late in the year, in the wintertime now. And why I think 2024 is going to be an exceptionally good year. Great year, probably. And I'm looking forward to some really good springtime white sea bass fishing. You'll probably see another big halibut year. It could really get crazy. Speaking of halibut, a few weeks ago, the Pride at 55 halibut, they are out right now. We'll be getting a report from them later on, and hopefully they cranked on them. They have had some exceptional fishing. Their last trip, they went 7 to 4, 15 on the white sea bass. Had one legal halibut to go along with it, and then plenty of whitefish and sheep's head and that rasmataz, so pretty darn good fishing on our local areas for halibut, some sea bass, and other stuff. And of course, we are seeing outstanding rock fishing up and down the coast. We mentioned Ensenada. You can ride that right up to Monterey Bay, California. We'll see how this heavy surf affects things, but up there in the Channel Islands, it's been exceptionally good. Really great fishing for rock fish up there. And of course, Tucker McCombs in the Endeavor and Ventura Sport Fishing, they do a fantastic job every single time they leave the docks. They put customer service at a high level, and then you combine that with the great fishing opportunities and adventures. Ventura Sport Fishing, 805-676-3474. Remember, January 1st, fini, over, no more rockfish for a few months here in SoCal. So now is a good time for you to take advantage of that, no question about it. All right. We also see some okay bass fishing up and down the coast. Yeah, wintertime bass has always been a thing, and it still is. You fish a leadhead and squid in most cases, and 25-pound fluorocarbon. You can go right on up to 40-pound fluorocarbon. It works really, really well. You're in that structure. You've got to pull hard. You've got to get some strength on those bass ASAP. But on the Spitfire, we've seen some really good bass fishing. Our good buddy David Rosenthal. Man, David is such a great guy. Always there helping out when we need his help here at Friedman Adventures. He was out on a private boat, had some fun. They did the combo lobster and bass thing and had great success. More than that, they had a lot of fun and a lot of laughs on that trip. Michael Limon. Hey, Michael, good morning. And Dad, Dan Lightfoot, they were on the Monte Carlo. I saw them yesterday before I sat down to do that podcast with Don Brockman. And as always, it's always great to see those two characters. 
There's Michael with a nice sheep's head on board the MC, the Monte Carlo yesterday. Nice fish for him. Always great to see Michael having fun. And again, along the coast in the shallows, we catch the rockfish, uh, I mean the sheep's head and the whitefish. And then you get out in that 300 plus feet of water or deeper right now where you are required to fish. And you catch a lot of nice big ones, man. That is pretty good stuff. Marcus Fain on the Aloha Spirit. Great fishing on the Aloha Spirit. Marcus, a great guy. Beautiful, gorgeous rockfish up and down the Southern California coast. Surf fishing today. You know, you could probably pull it off right here, but it's going to be very dangerous. I admonish you all to think twice before you do it or to ex really exercise extreme caution if you're fishing here on the beach. And I don't know, you can, you know, I'm looking over there now. I'm hoping it's picking it up. You know, I mean, you're in really dangerous situations if you're fishing that jetty. You do not want to be doing that. There's plenty of great weather days in the future to take the kids out. Go for a walk along here. Check out the big surf, but I would leave the surf fishing for another day. However, once this calms down, we have seen some really great fishing in the surf. There's been halibut on the Lucky Crab Lures. If you get bait, and when you fish in the wintertime, most of the time you want to fish bait, it has been good. Yellowfin croaker, spotfin croaker, we've seen uh, occasional corbina. We've even seen these big old jack smelt. We've seen some really great surf fishing here along the Southern California beaches from San Diego all the way up to Ventura. There's been some excellent fishing. Our friend Halibut Man Mitchell, always doing a great job. He was here fishing with us in the surf the other day, and then he took the kids over to another spot, and they had an, a really great time together. In fact, I think they had a halibut and several perch and just had a great time. Mitchell, hope you're having a great morning, my friend. Always great spending time with you and seeing you. Our friend Jason Lawler, who is, of course, the galley chef. Chef, underline chef. He's one heck of a chef, let me tell you. He uh, was out hoop netting for lobster the other night. I believe he was local. He may have been at Catalina. Both those venues have been very good. Seven lobster is the limit per angler. He limited out, did really, really well, and had some great lobster for dinner. Man, I'll tell you, Jason, way to go. Always good to see you here on the morning briefing. And the lobster hoop netting has been fantastic this year. It really has been fabulous. Man, I'll tell you, get your Promar Ahi nets and get out there and scoop yourself up some of those great eating lobster, and it's a lot of fun. And you can do like David Rosenthal did, those combo type trips where you catch your whitefish, your sheep's head, maybe some bass, and then the sun sets, and you're fishing for langostas for a few hours, and hopefully getting the job done really, really fast and good. All right, my friends, wow, what a beautiful morning it is here in Surfside, a glorious sunrise, huge surf. As I look down that way, the surfers are having a ball back behind me. And, uh, man, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to join us. Don't forget, please don't forget to go and check out that Don Brockman interview. You know, back in the day, you'd sleep on the deck in a sleeping bag to get out to Cortez Bank because the freelance had no bunks. Donnie will tell you that story. He'll talk some incredible albacore action. He'll tell you right now what's going on at Lake Havasu with the stripers. It's some pretty incredible stuff. Is it going to get me? I don't think so. I think I'm safe. I'm just worried about like a 10-foot comber coming in here and crashing on my head. Anyway, go back and watch the Don Brockman interview. I know you're going to love that. Hey, as always, it's really great to spend time with you as we roll up on 2024. Really, really going to be something. By the way, I did watch SC play, and I kept sitting there watching it with a diehard USC fan, and I kept saying, wow, their defense looks good. Man, they are playing some really good ball. So congratulations to my brothers and sisters from the Trojan land out there, and hopefully Notre Dame will uh, do halfway decent on Friday. I don't know about that. I don't, well, well, that's a topic for another day. But congratulations to the SC guys. All right, have a great one, my friends. Always good spending time with you, and I hope to see you really, really soon.
my coffee.